Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is D Free, and for today's video, we're gonna be testing out Super Vegeta. I did a video on this dude like a couple of months back, and I used him on Super Saiyans, obviously. And I was like, dude, where is his Zenkai? Because he's one of the characters I was heavily, heavily invested into, and it was hoping that they would get a Zenkai soon as one of the original characters in the game ever finally gets a Zenkai. So for today's video, we're gonna showcase him and we're gonna talk about him overall. So very quick analysis and things that you guys need to know are we're gonna talk about the teams he's on and then we're gonna jump into some gameplay. I'll try to go as quickly as possible as always. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. If you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Today's video like goes gonna be 1500. Uh, so we should be able to hit that pretty easily, I imagine. And uh, on top of that though, if you guys are new, hit a thumbs up and subscribe so you have more content. Anyways, Vegeta, like I was saying, teams he's applicable to. This dude's best on uh, Super Saiyans. It's really not even close. I mean, that's not a surprise though. He was kind of made to be on that type of team, especially when you look at his Z ability. If you run him on Saiyans or Vegeta family, you could find success, I guess. But I just think that the you are number one base form Vegeta is so powerful as a supporting character with the things he does, the sub count down, the combo ending, just the healing, the damage. That dude's nuts. So like, I don't think that this dude replaces that guy on any team they're, they're both on, which is again, all the same ones pretty much except for Super Saiyans. So there's that. And there are also some other options you would want to consider as well on top of that. But in terms of what happens with the Zenkai, he picks up key, he picks up ultimate damage, he picks up uh, the damage cut here as well. So like it's a it's a good main ability, nothing special, but it's good. The Zenkai abilities for Yellow Sands, pretty nice. Expect some videos on some Yellow Sands. This doesn't really change at all. I don't think this even changed like at all. So I'm not gonna double check it, but it, if it did, it's very very minimal. Maybe it went up like 10%, something like that. Uh, but I don't love this one only because Bardock. You kind of want to switch a decent amount with Bardock. Uh, so I'm never getting to 10. I guess if he's the last man standing. Standing, you can pick up 80% blast and that's good now the thing is they try to fix that with his last unique where he picks up vanishing gauge uh, and give you more incentive to leave him out there longer we'll talk about that when we get there so this one here I don't love this either again they, they didn't really change th these are his default unique abilities right they didn't even really change this <laughs> um, so like I don't think this is so much of that he's a super saiyan and they tried to like gimp him or whatever it's just they've been doing this with every character for a while so it's not really surprising right um, anyways, inflicts enemies with downgrade plus 20% of blast damage received when he enters the battlefield. He'll do more damage, obviously, and then after X number of counts, he picks up blast damage buffs. So right here, this is where he starts getting into some of the crazier things he does. Uh, when this character's on the battlefield, apply the following effects itself when the enemy switches character. So if you're doing good damage, you force a switch, you pick up 30 key. Pretty good. Especially if you had like, if you had like draw speed or whatever, then you'd be in a crazy position, but he doesn't have that. Uh, reduces damage for 30, uh, by 30% for 10 counts. Also, the nuts thing about him, is if they switch versus you, you get to pick up a 100% vantage gauge restoration. Now, this resets on switch that it's a one time thing. They can't switch multiple times to have you keep getting it back while the Vegeta's out there. Again, something built into his kit that says you need to switch him out alongside Bardock. I don't love this absolute pride unique and the way it's built because they're telling you, oh, you can stay out there longer, but you have to re uh, switch to reset these things. Again, it's a crazy ability that he has a vantage gauge back. Like, that's ridiculous. If you're being aggressive and putting on pressure you get two vanishes with him maybe three depending on how long he stays out there <laughs> so don't get me wrong he's that's a crazy ability applies the falling effects itself when the character enters the battlefield also restores health by 10 percent restores key gets damage and then strike damage they've been giving strike damage buff to like blast characters lately i guess to maybe normalize it a little bit more uh like lf goten got that and it just seems so weird every time i say it but on this dude with the crit buffs it's not that bad and the zenkai stats you guys know what i'm talking about he's fully 1400 percent as well so those are the absolute maximum stats uh so overall though i think he's good i don't think he's anything crazy but we're gonna use him on super saiyans I do have Kaba, who also offers more support for the for the Vegeta. We might do that. I have a feeling I'll probably do it more often than not because the trio of colors works really well. Uh, and I try to just run something a little bit different with characters you probably won't see that often. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. All right, a match versus a Sun Family team. I uh, I don't think I've seen Goku on a team like this in a while. The Gohan, sure, but Goku exclusively? Probably not. Not in a long time. That's fine. Guess that means I won't be subbing again, though. I'll stay now. I was setting up another sub, but... Oh, well. It'd be great if I got crits, Kaba. But okay. Decent damage on Gohan to begin. Mm, I'll sub and go for a tackle. Uh, I should get this or we'll clash. Oh, I did. Nice, 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 nice. 
too swipe happy this morning. This is fine though. At this rate, I'll probably just wait for Kaba to come back. It's gonna be kind of tricky bringing Vegeta just because the Gohan like is so good, right? He completely negates what some of what Vegeta would do. Well, you seem to have a blue in your hand. Look at that. Look at the. <laughs> this Goku's a funny unit, dude. His playstyle is something else. He's <laughs> something else. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> it's, it's just drift. <laughs> okay. Taps. Yeah, Gohan is really problematic for Vegeta. Finally got you. No biggie. We will get the vanish gauge here. So I'm gonna unload the whole clip. A little lag kicking in. It's okay. You'll probably sub to revive Gohan. Yep. Biggie. Gotta find a way to create something with Vegeta though, because I can't have him able to play with him. Just because it's the Gohan. I'll go for a tap here. Oh, he got me there. Double. Oh, wow. He was going for it. I shouldn't hear it. Perfect. Thank you. He was going for it. I just didn't hear it. The downside is it set me up for a double switch. Which means Gohan is very... Not this Gohan. The other Gohan is in a very advantageous situation versus my Vegeta if he gets anything. Pick up my sustain cut here. Even if I waste this, I need the defense. Sub for me. Yes! I should've went for the blast. It's all good. I should've went for the blast there. I could've got a combo. It took really good damage. <laughs> really, he's gonna sub out his red character. Really good damage. Yes! We were able to turn nothing into something. I know he's pissed. I'd be so mad. I'm upset I didn't go for the blast on him before the ult. That would've been disgusting. Sorry. That would have been disgusting, dude, if I got that. Lag? Okay, no, we're good. It's not lag. No, I mean, we we'll lag. Nice. I'm trying to get his vanish. I haven't been able to. I'll go for a blaster in mid. I'll follow up with the blue. Ah! I should have waited. Or I should have went quicker, to be honest. You gonna pop that blue you have? I haven't even got a rush yet. And he used his like forever ago. <laughs> this is fake game. I'm sitting on it. I have it, but I don't I don't have it for real, you know? He's gonna try not to sub out uh, until he uses his ult, obviously. Steak. I got a perfect and do a strike at that exact moment. Yep, exactly. I could have used that at that exact moment. However, I did not. Still got the kill though, so we're good. No. I have vanished because he subbed. That's so stupid. That's actually dumb. I bet he didn't expect that whatsoever. I went for a tap, it just didn't register for some reason. Yeah, I bet he did not expect that whatsoever. So Gohan is an insane character, but we're still in a commanding position now, obviously. And we win. Well, that was a good game. It took a while to actually get Vegeta doing anything, just because for like two minutes, the Gohan was shutting me down with the option to sub into him. So either way though, good game. All right, so you got a match versus fusions slash GT, I guess, but mainly just fusions, obviously. Thank you for that. Well, let's see what I get here. Crits. Crits. 
Of course, there's another strike there. Thanks for the seal. He should draw green, right? Thank you. Oh, there's a crit. Look at that. Look at happens when I get crits. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at the life we live in if I get crits. And stop clocks coming in handy. Look at the life we would live. If only the game would be nice. Sorry. Oh, I. Oh, you're so lucky. A card filled in my space. I was ready to pop the ult, and even if I missed it, I would have just got my vantage back, and that's all I wanted. Ooh, that card filled in the space because he picked up the draw speed, right? Oof. I w I would have popped it there so fast, even if I missed. I would not have cared about missing. That's the utility I love of this Bardock's uh, special move or his uh, ultimate. You can miss it and get the vanish gauge back, and you're good, dude. Are you gonna sub here? Please do. Thank you. I want another chance, and I pick up the vanish gauge back too. That's disgusting. Oh, crit! Uh, this is critting. How much will this combo do? Ooh, how much was that? 3.8. <laughs> I thought it would tackle there, but like this this match just it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something, man. I'll sub here. He might rush here, which is fine. I'll just throw Bardock out. I subbed in advance so I could get two switches if I need it. Oh, I went for a tap there. He's lucky. Because I could have avoided that, but I mean it's not a big deal. I still have what I pretty much what I wanted. I got the sub buff for Kaba. And Vegeta's on cooldown. Cop is gonna come back in. I, I got exactly what I wanted. So, well, Vegeta's here by default. I misplaced him in Cobb's placements. Okay, we're good. There goes the vanish. So blue card just ends this. All right, let's play the next one. Thank you. Little lag there, but okay. Got a crit there, thankfully. Uh, this Vegeta kind of like, it's kind of weird because he wants to stay in for such a long amount of time because that passive he has. Oh, excuse me. But when paired with characters like Kaba and Vegeta, he needs to be cycling, or, or Bardock, excuse me, the Vegeta needs to be cycling a good bit, which is not very easy to do. You gonna tackle here? Crit on the strikes. This will kill whoever's entering here, or is he gonna just let him die? Yep. Get the defeated buffs. I feel it. Be nice if I had a strike. A strike. I mean, unless he's rushing here, I don't think this matters. Okay. One more. They healed a good amount there. Okay. Well, we know one thing is for sure. Vegeta's good at uh, taking out the trash. And not him, these characters, if I wasn't specific enough. I mean, I think like two of them or so are decent. But just, they don't even compare to the Frieza team. It's not even close. The minion team for Frieza Force, it's not even close for the most part. And of course, like I guessed, it's just delaying the inevitable, but okay. All right, let's move on. Okay, we have a match versus the new Kid Boo, so it should be fun to see. Nice. <clears throat> Thank you for that. I'll stay in now, though. I mean, he could just sub out, so it's just whatever. I'll get one hit. Comes to sub to sell. Late, but okay. I'll actually tackle here. 
sorry. He's just gonna match with a type advantage again. I'll just drop just cuz. Oh, it, he actually didn't sub there. I, I dropped just to waste some time. Not gonna lie to you. There's no reason to drop. Tackle. What happens here? Okay, thank you for tapping me. You're me out. Let's try this again. Unless he has a rush right here in this scenario. Okay. You know, I'll actually pull my ult here just to get rid of this first life. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> There was a number of things I could have done here instead of rushing, like drawing the main, uh, getting my vanish back with the ult. I should have had enough time to do that window. Either way, I could have also subbed and probably had enough time to do a strike as well in that window. Like, there was a number of options here. I just chose to get rid of the Kenbu right here and right now just with the rush. I, it didn't really matter to me, but there were a number of options. If you were trying to, you know, watch that play and understand that play and or get better at the game, because sometimes people watch my videos and I'm not the best player, but <clears throat> they watch my videos to get better. And that's an idea where you could have done multiple things. And I don't really think that that was the wrong choice, but some people might. Just looking at the matchups, like he could match with color, but I match pretty well with color, especially now. So I'm cool. Look at all those debuffs. <laughs> this is fine. I have no reason to sub, which is uh, the bait. So we're going to enter there at max HP. I'll go blast. It's not a strike, though. It's going to be something else. Anything but a strike, probably. Oh, maybe. Um, okay, cool. I saw three blasts. I didn't expect three blasts. Perfect. No, nice one. Go for the attack. Ooh. Got your vanish there, but what are you gonna do here? No. <laughs> I need Vegeta back, but <laughs> he's too far away. I mean, he was. Die? Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Blast on the OP. He was tanking enough. He has time advantage. I'm not really surprised or anything. All right, let's move on. Okay, we have a match versus a fusion team featuring all Vegitos. So we start off with a perfect to begin. Love to see it. I'll drop here. Uh, he went that way. Okay, that's fun. You're gonna go again? That's fine. I purposely did not drop, or I showed him that so he could see what I was doing because it wasn't a huge deal if he subbed this dude. Drop combo, okay. One more. Thought about dropping that time as well, but I kind of thought he would sub the yellow, if I'm being honest. That's fine, too. Ooh, he took that bait. Next time I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it right. I didn't think he'd actually take that bait. No biggie. Okay, next time I'm going to do that right. This is fine. This dude does like no damage. He needs his Zenkai badly. Okay. Not a guild of sub in Bardock for the record. But, uh, is this a blast card? Oh, it's a green. Okay. But I am taking a gamble. So we'll see if he lives it or not. It looks like he's living. That's, that's actually pitiful. He sees this, but can he do anything? It's actually pitiful. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's actually pitiful. I won't drop here. I'll follow up as well. Should be a sub, obviously. Let's see if I get the follow up. That'd be crazy if I get the blue card. 
Oh boy. I'm gonna get a taps though. If I get crits, he's dead. No crits necessary. He's gonna side step right there, yep. I didn't hear it, but I was sure he was gonna do it. I didn't have any strikes anyway though, so he would be able to blast armor. One more? Nope. No worries. Okay, you can keep canceling the buffs. It's not a huge deal. Because you have a very big disadvantage, thankfully. It's fine. I would like to cycle Bardock one more time. And there it is. Pains me to see Super Vegeta like this. Not gonna lie to you, it pains me. I'll tackle on the sub. You're out of options. I'll tackle again. No, I'll go for this thing. Oh, he subbed there. Wow. I didn't think he'd actually get the sub in time. But 1.5 million on that single blast art. Okay, it looks like he's giving up. Now, single blast did 1.5 million with a crit. <laughs> Good lord. Goodness gracious.